50 things watering waves should add. Paimon so I can fucking cook this flying fuck. Vehicles. Like, imagine an echo that allows you to ride it like a horse or a car. Though, I'd be down to ride its d Ability to interact with random NPCs and have funny dialogues like in Honkai. Voice chat. More co-op content so I can enjoy my loneliness even more. More amazing combat music. Please add the song. Hot. Black. Naked. Only man. Saturation slider. I know monitor settings are a thing, but most people are too retarded to use them. Like, I have a friend with an $800, 240 hertz monitor who probably hasn't even enabled ULMB or even uses the proper preset. Like, it literally makes me depressed, bro. Add color presets like the ones in Tower of Fantasy, but make it even more customizable. Could be cool for gameplay, also for recording the game, for things like edits and other stuff. Underwater exploration. Genshin players be like, Oh, another thing, Wolf. I will copy well actually tower of fantasy had it before genshin so suck my dick you fucking disgusting copy paste out breath of the wild make a pet animation a clear all button that removes the red pings on all the icons they're just extremely annoying and perfectionists hate them a statue of our gotcha lord and savior tech tone add echo breathing so i can fuck echoes and get better ones racism first person view drugs more language support just Add all the languages of the world. I would love hearing a character scream, Curva Pierdola. Shaders, like the ones in Minecraft or some sort of thing that just allows you to mess with the way the game lighting works. I guess this could go into the color preset thing, but it's also kind of, whatever. Customizable UI. I want to have my UI tailor suited for myself. Sure, it's going to be weird watching a streamer with some messed up UI, but at least you're going to be able to set it up for yourself and it will be better for you, you know? Make characters pronounce their name. Record every single sound in English and other alphabets, like every letter, every letter every letter combination and stuff then have the characters pronounce the player's name please i want to hear panda girl say i'm a child molest character customization make barber shops and clothes stores so i can give them some drip add mint add a difficulty slider so if a person doesn't really want to try or plays on phone which is basically the same thing they can they can drag the difficulty slider and allow the player to play the game how he wants to play it a building thing like the teapot in Genshin. I'm never gonna play it, but I'm sure there will be level of rewards and I want those. Respawning chests that give you pulls. Please, I, please, I, I know it's not gonna happen, but, but, but please, please, I beg. Add sleep. If you don't sleep for three days, you die and your account gets wiped and a nuclear missile is sent to your house. A touch grass alert. You know how much we gotcha players tend to play the game, so a reminder to go and take our annual shower and go touch grass would be good. Latinas, Red Bull. Built-in panic button. So imagine, your mom walks in when you should be doing schoolwork, and you click that panic button, and it just randomly displays some math equation or something like that, and she thinks you're studying and not looking at anime titties. Multiplayer missions. It will motivate some people to actually speak to other humans and make me want to kill myself. Some sort of competitive game mode. Obviously not direct PvP because that is so pay to win, but instead maybe like this Mario thing challenge 1v1. This could be fun, you know, and you get some Prima gems or whatever the currency is called. I'm not aware. Co-op bosses like Tower of Fantasy. Come to think of it, I've mentioned co-op things like four times now. Characters based off of Dream, XQC, Master Ugwe, and Leonardo Decapitation. Beat. More physics. I demand it. Echo battles. Like the ones in Pokemon, you know? Slavery. Some collectible item just for the sake of pissing off completionists because now they have to go and find some item for nothing in return just to complete the game. It's it's so funny. Random boss battle events with some cool rewards, maybe an echo or something, I don't know. Brewing tea. A radio which actually tunes into a live stream of a random creator on Twitch. In game. That's streaming Wuthering Waves. A collab with Logan Paul. I have no idea. Pets that will follow you around, like this Genshin thing, but you know, like make them like dogs and cats or like Pokemon things, you know, or some special echo, I don't know. Some sort of AFK thing that allows the player to have their account progress while they're busy. Like, I don't know, you go into a chamber and your character gets like 100 XP per minute or something, or maybe do the same with your weapon, your, I don't know, echoes, but it only works when you're offline so you can't abuse it. A built-in recorder. Please, my computer dies whenever I try to use OBS. A auto clip thing that clips when you get a five star, recording your audio reaction as well. You, you could obviously configure and edit the settings and disable it maybe, but it just imagine, it's so cool. A trading system, where after you reach like level 50, let's say, or whatever the highest level is in this game, you can trade your characters, weapons, maybe, I don't know, exchange money for some level up materials, exchange echoes. Now, you would need to have some verification for people to not abuse this, but I think you can do that. And number 50. S